Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Hello, this is Nick with Nick's Computer Fix, and here's a video on how to download Windows 10 to your USB flash drive directly from Microsoft. And before you do that, be sure to click on subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. All right, let's go ahead and open up an internet browser. And within a search engine of your choosing, I'm using Google. Type in the search item Windows 10 Download. And once you do that, go ahead and hit the Enter key. And that will bring up some potential links that you can click on. And the first two are really very good. And uh, I like to click on the first one, uh, download Windows 10 disk image. And when you do, you'll go directly to the Microsoft Windows 10 download page. And this is official. And you'll see it saying Windows 10 2022 update. And this is the version 22H2. Now keep in mind, once you install Windows 10, the updates will update it to a um, greatest and latest version. Now you can also go back, let's go back here, and you can click on the second link. And the second link will allow you to choose whether you want to download Windows 11, 10, 8, or 7, which is pretty cool, but we're gonna focus on Windows 10. And when you do, it takes you to the same Windows 10 download page that the previous first link that I showed you um, takes you to. So once you're here, you want to scroll down and click on Create Windows 10 Installation Media Download Now. And the reason you want to create a Windows 10 Installation Media because we're going to install Windows 10 uh, installation files onto a USB flash drive. So once you click on download now, in my internet browser, I'm using Chrome, I can see on the download status that uh, the media creation tool has been downloaded. It doesn't take long, um, less than a couple of seconds actually. And once you do, you go ahead and click on it and open it up and start the Windows 10 setup process. and you can see it says getting a few things ready now this can last um, anywhere from 10 seconds to almost a minute or two depending on the speed and performance of your computer and once it's finished getting a few things ready for you it'll go over to the license agreement um, page here and you can scroll through it and look at it and then go ahead and click on next and it'll come back and say getting a few things ready again and this will take a few seconds to almost a minute in some cases, like I mentioned before, depending on how fast your computer is. So be patient, give it time. And once that's accomplished, it'll come back and say, what do you want to do? And in this case, we want to go ahead and, and click on create installation media and then click on next. Then you're given the opportunity to select your language also the Windows 10 version and if you don't like the defaults you can uncheck this and make changes and select a different language and different Windows 10 if it gives you that option and of course 32-bit or 64 always download 64-bit is what I recommend now once you're finished doing that click on next and then you can choose which media to use. In this case, we do want to use the first one here, USB, and that's the one we're gonna use. And be sure at this point that you have uh, installed or inserted your USB flash drive into a USB port on your computer before going any further. Once you accomplish that, you wanna be able to select a USB flash drive. And the reason they give you this option is because sometimes two flash drives are installed on a computer or a laptop and they just want to make sure you're selecting the right one all right go ahead and click on next and then it says getting a few things ready again and as you can see it uh, moves right along and now it's downloading windows 10 and once it's finished doing that it'll jump right over to 
、um, creating Windows 10 media. And this can take a few minutes, so be patient. And once it's、uh, finished, you'll have a、uh, USB flash drive with the Windows 10 installation files all set and ready to go. And you will get a confirmation message that says your USB flash drive is ready. And once you see this message, it's okay to go down and click on the finish button. And then you will get this message that says setup is cleaning up before it closes. So give it a few moments or a few minutes to do its cleanup. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and remove that flash drive right out of your USB port. Okay, that's how easy it is to download Windows 10 to a USB drive and have a bootable USB flash drive to install Windows 10 on any computer that you would like. Okay, before you leave, be sure to click on that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated.